words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother with letters on the mother by our Lord from the collective works of Sri Aurobindo volume 32 page 161 topic opening sincerity and the mother's grace subtopic the psychic and opening question when i opened myself to the mother in meditation i saw her approaching me with an infant in her arms she came near the golden purusha frowned at her and she drew back behind you i have seen this vision several times what am i to do you fill my whole being but despite opening myself to the mother she is not allowed to approach me for this question to our lord a lord sri arbindo replies the infant in the mother's arms is the symbol of the psychic being the soul in direct touch with the divine truth is hidden in man by the mind the vital being and the physical nature manas prana anna of taitreya upanishad one may practice yoga and get illuminations in the mind and the reason par and all kinds of experiences in the vital even physical siddhis but if the true soul par behind and the psychic nature do not come into the front nothing genuine has been done in this yoga the psychic being is that which opens the rest of the nature to the true supramental light and finally to the supreme ananda if the soul is awakened if there is a new birth out of a mere mental vital and physical into the psychic consciousness then the yoga can be done otherwise by the mere power of the mind or any other part it is impossible it is this new birth this awakening of the psychic consciousness that the mother is offering in the vision if the golden purusha refuses it it must be because he is bound by some kind of attachment probably to mere knowledge in that case he is not very consistent for it was he who demanded surrender to the mother and now he rejects the very heart and the meaning of the surrender probably this repeated experience is an indication of the principal difficulty in the sadhana if there is a refusal of the psychic new birth a refusal to become the child new born from the mother owing to the attachment to intellectual knowledge or mental idea or to some vital desire then there will be a failure in the sadhana only if it is accepted can his coming and doing sadhana here be fruitful date 26th november 1929 our lord shri arbindo says keep yourself open to the mother's force keep yourself open to the mother's force but do not trust all the forces as you go on if you keep straight you will come to a time when the psychic becomes more predominantly active and the light from above prevails more purely and strongly so that the chance of the mental constructions and the vital formations mixing with the true experience diminishes as i told you these are not and cannot be supramental forces it is a work of preparation which is only making things ready for a future yoga siddhi date 18 september 1932 
Question. What is the conscious way to bring the psychic to the front? Does awakening of the psychic being means it's coming to the front? For this our Lord says, No, awakening is a different thing. It means the conscious action of the psychic from behind. When it comes to the front, it invades the mind, vital and body and psychizes their moments. It comes best by aspiration and an unquestioning and entire turning and surrender to the Divine Mother. But also it sometimes comes of itself when the Adhar is ready. Date 5th May 1933 Question Is our inner being already open to the Mother? Or does it open in the course of the sadhana? Sri Aurobindo says, The inner being does not open except by sadhana or by some psychic touch on the lie. Date 30th November 1933 Question When I think of the mother's compassion, I start weeping with gratefulness. Never before in my life have I felt so much affection. If my mind is quiet, bit quiet, will I be able to feel her help? For this our Lord Sri Aurobindo says, Yes, it is by quietening the mind that you will become, you will be able to call the mother and open to her. The soothing effect was a touch from the psychic. One of the touches that prepares the opening of the psychic with its gifts of inner peace, love and joy. 17 September 1934 Question Today again after Pranam there were some vital dissatisfactions but they have a great effect on the heart which has now begun to open to the mother. For this Sri Aurobindo says get rid of these dissatisfactions they prevent the permanent psychic opening. 29 September 1934 Question. The heart is beginning to open to the mother, but it is still easily touched by the lower vital suggestions. That is probably why the vital is not always happy with the way the mother deals with me at Pranam. For this our Lord Sri Aurobindo says, What the psychic always feels is, what the mother does is for the best, and it accepts all with gladness. It is a vital part of the heart that is easily touched by these suggestions. 29 September 1934 Question I am not sure whether a direct psychic opening could have been done in my case without any difficulty. For this our Lord says the direct opening of the psychic center is easy only when the egocentricity is greatly diminished and also if there is a strong bhakti for the mother, a spiritual humility and sense of submission and dependence is necessary. Date 16th July 1936. Next topic, sincerity. This child of the mother is so unworthy. Only she knows when the child will be fit to have a place in her lap. For this our Lord says, There is only one thing needed to make anyone fit for the mother's grace. It is a perfect sincerity and truthful openness to the mother in all the being. 2nd Feb 1934 Question. I see many defects in my nature. For instance, my tendency to get angry and to argue. I request the mother to change all this for it is in her hands and to transform me. For this our Lord says it depends not only on the will of the mother but on the sincerity of the sadhak. I do not see that you have any sincere will to do the yoga or to change. Next question. X once said to the mother if the sincerity was perfect there would be transformation in a day. To this the mother replied, yes, I do not understand how could that be possible. A long process of conversion of consciousness compressed into one day's work. Perhaps the mother said yes to emphasize the importance of sincerity. 
For this our Lord Sri Aurobindo says, By sincerity mother meant being open to no influence but the divines only. Now, if the whole being were sincere in that sense, even to the very cell of the body, what could prevent the most rapid transformation? People cannot be like that, however much the enlightened part of them they want to, because of the nature of the ignorance of which the ordinary prakriti has been built, hence the necessity of a long and laborious working. 26 July 1934 Question, why do people often say that this yoga is an artist one full of difficulties and obstacles? When one is very sincere, one is open exclusively to the Divine Mother, Would not they would not believe this. It is difficult only for those who refuse to take her as they will or as they are. For this our Lord says, of course, but not most do not find it easy to take the Mother as they are. Question, we are told that mother can act best if a sadhak is sincere. But what is meant by this? For this our Lord says, what is meant by sincere sadhaka or a sincere sadhana? In the mother's definition of sincere, it means opening only to the divine's force, that is, rejecting all the others even if they come. 21st April 1936, these are the divine words of our Lord Sri Aurobindo.